on her 16th birthday, October the 11th, 2005, she had a bronchial asthma attack and she actually died. If you had asked me a year ago, this time, last year this time, she was in a coma, no one gave her any hope. We are a, a very specialized long-term care facility for children and young adults who are profoundly disabled and have very complex medical needs. We will not balance the budget on the backs of people who need health care. Human services programs that are not a priority in the state of Illinois. You get you know so much pay per resident per day, um, and you have to work with what you get. It's never enough. The state of Illinois is borrowing money from us um, to meet its cash flow needs. Public health comes out and says we want you to do this. It's where do we get the money? They well, really they don't care. What they tell us is we don't care where you get the money from, just do it. To add insult to injury, not only is our rate inadequate, but uh, sometimes we go several months waiting for a payment. Uh, there's something not quite right about that. Uh, one of the biggest events that helps sustain Little Angels is the annual uh, Little Angels Pledge Run. Their money enabled us to build uh, a new residential facility and our development training facility. However, now use those monies to actually cover operating expenses. The problem is, is we're an out of sight, out of mind business. So politicians don't like touching us. The state has, through the legislature, set up a fee for service committee and other um, programs to address this particular situation, but no answers have been found yet. our mission in life to provide care for the kids we serve here at Little Angels.